Happy day after Thanksgiving. Cheers to you. I haven't had a cup of coffee in like 32 hours. And a second one right away. These are little cups. All right, the assault on November 24th, 2023 begins now. All right, so how was your Thanksgiving? Comment below. Let me know. I want to know. I want to know. I don't care. Make a paragraph or two. I'll read it. I might even talk your ear off. My Thanksgiving was a hangover. Had a little bit too much mead Thanksgiving Eve. Any amount that makes me get along with people happily is too much. I'm kidding. I just had a headache till today. This is Stanley's cash. Yesterday, the 23rd, marked two months of the Stanley project. Completed, so we'll do a little audit. But first, how about a flashback of my Thanksgiving? I tried to make a video, but this is all I got done. Happy Thanksgiving. Not gonna lie. Not feeling so hot. Had drinks last night. Yeah, I felt awful. If you feel bad for me, you know, you can hit that like button. That's what I work for. Likes. Here, I'll go through the footage from yesterday and see what I can get. I did cook a really good steak. In fact, I only ate half of it, so I'm starting to think about it now. Look at that terrible hungover camera work. Alcohol just ruins things. I did cut this onion like a boss, though. I've been eating so low carb that an onion excites me. I eat it raw because it has more sugars if you cook it. Oh, and I cooked the steak in ghee, which is clarified butter. And when I took the steak out, I threw a couple eggs in. These are called happy eggs. They're bright orange. I don't know what kind of voodoo they do, but they're fantastic. Yeah, so this was my Thanksgiving hungover breakfast slash dinner. Warning, if you're squeamish about rare meat, you might want to turn your head. Because I plan to show you its inside. Yeah, so it's just a rare steak and eggs. I eat half of this, and then I slept till now, which is like 8 in the morning, the day after Thanksgiving. I did not see one soul in person on Thanksgiving. Is that a failure or a success? I'm not sure. All right, so it's not two months yet. I just checked my notepad. Stan Lee was launched September 28th, not the 23rd. In case you're new, I stopped going to drive through coffee shops. I bought a thermos, and I fill it with premium coffee every morning. I put $8 in an envelope every day. Money I would have otherwise spent at coffee shops. In less than two months, not only did the thermos pay itself off, $47.50 I paid for it, but it also pays for the coffee and runs a healthy, healthy surplus. Yeah, so this weekend is week 28. I gotta go buy another silver dollar. That's right, I've got 27 of these, and soon I'll have 28. Oh, if you're still here and you like the content, subscribe and you'll get more of it in your feed. I don't tell people to hit the little bell because I don't really say anything that you need to see right away. All right, so I think I had enough coffee this morning. I'm grateful that you've joined me. Life has thrown me a couple curveballs lately and I see some of the townsfolk showing empathy or sympathy for me, not knowing that I'm loaded. Whenever a money problem presents itself, one of the first things I think is at least it's not a health problem. I hope you're staying healthy and getting wealthy and not spending your money on Horace. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Thousand Air Radio, wicked shout. There you go, it's got buzzwords in it, but it's not really a lie.